What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things and today we are taking a look at the Vertex EDC commuter bag. You may have seen myself and some of my friends using this bag in my recent Vegas vlog so if you haven't checked it out yet I'll leave a link for it right up here. Now before we get into this thing I should probably preface this video by saying I'm not one to carry an EDC bag. In all of my videos where I'm showing the things that I carry, I carry them in pocket, in my waistband and things like that. I never really had a bag specifically to carry things with me other than a camera bag or a backpack just for some random clothes or anything else that I might need for the day. This bag sort of blends both of those things together with the tactical aspect, but at the same time, any normal person could carry this bag and it just looks like a normal backpack. So I just received this bag from Vertex and I kind of set it up to how I would carry it on a day-to-day -day basis. I've got some of my electronic and camera stuff that I use pretty much every day, as well as some things that I would normally be putting in my pockets and inside my waistband. So that's how I currently have this thing set up. Everyone's gonna be a little bit different. Now, let's get into it. Starting with the outside of the bag, this thing is made up of primarily nylon almost all the way around it. You can see a nice embroidered Vertex logo here with a little bit of Velcro below it, so you could stick one of your favorite patches on there. On the back, you'll find some cushy mesh material which should keep you cool if it's getting hot wherever you are and as you now see only one strap lined with the same type of material. So this is a sling bag you just throw it over your shoulder and it sits right like this. I have to be honest I was never really a huge fan of sling bags. I've owned a couple in the past but after you see what this one can do it might change your mind if this kind of turns you off. On the strap here you'll find some nylon webbing where you could attach things to if you want to as well as a little velcro release loop so maybe I want to put my car keys on here. Just slap them on there if I want to take them off to drive, simply pull the velcro, got my keys right here. If the bag is loaded up pretty heavy like this one is right now, you can put it on a little bit easier by removing this quick release. It comes completely all the way off just like this and then goes right across your chest almost like a seatbelt. Any extra length of strap on here that you have after adjusting it rolls up nicely and attaches with a little velcro piece. That's such a simple feature that I wish a lot more bags had. There's also another buckle on the front because on the back left corner here, you've got another length of nylon strap. You can bring that across, buckle it, and sort of distribute the weight a little more evenly. Now what makes the sling design really convenient is that if I grab this little hard flat pack here, I can pull the bag around to my front and have access to all four pockets. Now let's start off with the front pocket of the bag. To open up this front flap here, I'll simply grab this strap, pull down, and both of these zippers will come down with it. On the inside, you'll find some molly type webbing with some Velcro attachment. And then as you can see, you can put anything in here with a clip, like a flashlight or a knife, as well as maybe a medical bag or tourniquet, something like that, that you can put right here on the Velcro. On this part of the flap, you'll find two more lengths of nylon, as well as these two clips. You could pop these things off, unravel them, connect it to luggage, put a bike helmet on here, wrap up a jacket or something of that nature, and it'll just keep everything nice and tight. If you're not using these, these simply stay in place with these little nylon hooks on the inside just like that. Now if you look a little bit closer at the bottom of this pocket here, it might look like it's sewn shut, but this is actually like a concealed compartment. Maybe you're traveling with a passport or a lot of cash for some reason. If you reach right underneath here and pull this Velcro, you got a nice big open compartment that runs all the way to the top of the pack where you could put pretty much anything that you deem valuable. Slip your cash or credentials in there, Velcro it shut, and anyone who's going in this bag probably won't notice that. Another added little safety feature is that if you zip these up, on the inside of these zippers are little snaps and underneath this hood here, you'll find the other side. Simply snap that shut just like that. Same to the top side and then the top Velcro's into place. That way if you're walking around and someone decides to pull this down for some reason, it's gonna be a lot harder for them to do that. They would actually need to reach in here, pop off these snaps, and then pull it down to be able to get to whatever you have in here. Moving on to the next pouch, as you see, pretty decent space here, and you'll notice that the flap doesn't fall all the way down. So any gear that you might have in here, pens, pencils, paper, notebook, an iPad, pretty much anything won't just fall onto the ground. You got a couple places for pens or admin pockets, as some people call them. And then a zipper pouch here inside, I just have a battery charger. There's also a little clip on the inside of the pocket if you want to attach some keys to it. That's pretty much it. Moving on to the next pouch. Here again, the same design, whereas nothing is really gonna fall out of here because there's webbing to hold the pocket up in place. As you can see, this bag is big enough to hold my 15 inch MacBook Pro. And there's also two pockets on the inside here for whatever else you might wanna carry. In my case, I happen to have my computer charger as well as some spare batteries and an extra lens for the camera. The computer is easily accessible by this little buckle here. Pull it out, do whatever you need to do, slip it right back in. 
Now we're moving on to the fun pouch. From the intro to this video, and if you watch the Vegas vlog, you will know that this bag is specifically designed for off-body concealed carrying of firearms. I'll show you what that looks like in real time. As you can see, pretty quick if you train with this thing. So the way this part of the bag works, you have a zipper that goes almost all the way around the entire bag. So if you start from one corner and zip it all the way around, the bag is gonna open up flat. There are two zippers, which are all YKK by the way. You leave them down in the bottom corner by your right hand. And now as you can see, I have this big pull tab here, which is the lowest hanging point on the bag. So if I'm walking around normally, say I have my hands in my pocket, that tab is always right by my right hand, pretty much no matter what I'm doing. It makes it super easy to grab, whether I'm grabbing it overhand or underhand, and that's what you're gonna wanna grab if you're in a situation where you have to deploy a firearm. So it's really easy to just get your hand on that, pull the bag around to your front, and then pull it open in one swift motion. From here, I have access to anything in the pouch that I might need to pull out. And as long as I didn't unzip this all the way to where it fell out flat, I can easily zip it right back up and throw it back to a normal position. Here it is again, all in one motion. As you can see, I didn't really need to hesitate. I'm not pulling it around by this flap here and then undoing the zipper. It's all just one swift motion. Now, what do I currently have on the inside of this pouch? When I pull these zippers all the way down, the rest of the bag kind of falls out of the way and then I have wide open access to anything that I want to put in here. On the right side here, you will see the Vertex Map or Molly Adapter Panel. It's all micro Velcro and I could attach this to the inside of any of the pockets that I've shown. On the Molly, you might have a light. Maybe you have a self-defense style knife. You can basically attach anything with clips to this as well. And then on this side, I have the Vertex MPH or Multi-Purpose Holster. The way this thing works was a little tricky to figure out in the beginning. It's all pretty much pieces of Velcro stuck together. You form it all around the gun of your choosing and it can hold full size guns even with lights and optics. On the inside of the holster is this little rubber retention piece which is obviously adjustable. That's basically just so this isn't a sleeve that your gun is sitting in. There's actually a little bit of retention. What's good about this type of setup is that it's almost infinitely adjustable so I can place the gun wherever I'm comfortable drawing from. I typically run mine a little bit lower than half with a little bit of cant too because it's just natural for me to go right to that position. For appendix carry, I'm normally drawing right from this area. However, when the bag is folded up, that's the next best spot. Now, one thing that I'm not too keen of is having my gun in a fabric style holster. This does seem good enough for now. I really don't think that my finger or anything can get in there to set the gun off. However, I would rather have Kydex. So what I did was rig a little something up. Here is my QVO secondary that was just made in the last video. What I did was actually slice off a little portion of the Molly webbing here, kind of kept it clean so you can't really tell. And then I threaded it through the back of the holster where your belt would normally go. Now I can just slap this thing right on here like this. I have a full Kydex holster right inside the bag. I'm sure there are other creative ways that you guys could come up with to mount your firearm in here. However, I think this looks pretty clean. Zip the bag back up. And I'm good to go. So that's how I have my bag set up whenever I'm in an environment where I think I'm gonna need some of this stuff, this is definitely gonna be coming with me. Like I said, there are plenty of other ways to set these bags up. There's different colors, different options. Vertex also makes different sizes, very similar to this bag. You can put backpack body armor panels in here that are specifically fit to this bag like I've shown in a video in the past. There's really an endless amount of things that you can do with this bag, but probably my favorite thing was just taking it out to the range and actually training with it. So that is going to be all for this video. Thanks to Vertex for sending this out to me and also thank you guys for watching. If you wanna learn more about the bags, pricing, different options that come with this, or different products that Vertex makes, I'll be sure to leave a link to this bag and their website in the description down below. If you are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every week and that's gonna be all for today. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.